the new backing cards for the enamel pins have arrived and I got them double sided this time I thought I would try something different I got it double sided but I didn't realise the pin's going to poke through this catnip.com Hello guys and welcome back to another studio vlog. My enamel pin backing cards finally arrived. But as I say, I haven't been very clever with the design here and I've put catnip.com in the centre but the pin will be going through there and destroying it so probably not the best idea but at least it looks pretty and patterned. It's normally plain white better than just being plain white. Uh, the card feels a little different to what I usually order, yet yeah, I ordered the same silk stock, uh, but it's a little different. This is 300 GSM, even though it's a nice thick paper, it is slightly more bendable than the other 400 GSM stocks that I've obviously ordered for the last ones. Uh, but yeah, they look really nice, they still look cohesive and everything, I've got to put them all away. And I had a few questions on the last studio vlog asking if the proofs that I've Done. so if you missed that definitely go check it out I'll leave a little info card at the top here and um, basically I do a print test on my paper usually I use the same paper that I use for my art print so that the colours are as accurate as possible and a few people asked whether the actual print from the company turns out the same way as when I print it. Now usually there is slight colour differences so it will be interesting to take you through there and see how the colours match. So these guys here are what I printed out here to proof so let's have a look at the difference in quality. I can already see that there's a difference in the print um, already of the Carpe Diem one so I'm going to slide this one out. As you can see, my print is actually a lot different to how it's turned out for the printers. Now, I designed these both in CMYK and print them. As you can see, there's quite a big difference there. But to be honest, this one is probably more accurate to the design that I had on screen. The colours look richer and deeper, what I would expect from a professional printer. Sometimes they come out a little bit too saturated and I don't want them that saturated. But this turned out pretty cute. As you can see, it's slightly darker slightly more bold the back end but usually they're pretty pretty similar one thing I will say as well that I've noticed is this colour is slightly more to the yellow side uh, the warmer side than the cool tone blues of this one I still get to see what my enamel pins are going to look like and it still really helps me out uh, because there has been times that I've ordered something and it's come out drastically wrong so but yeah the majority tends to be pretty accurate to my test print. These two are very accurate, they're pretty much identical. These ones are slightly lighter when it comes to the lighter colour ones. Uh, the print, the professional ones come out slightly darker when they're lighter uh, and this one as well. But the other ones seem pretty accurate, particularly these blue tones. So pretty happy with that and yeah, I'm happy with how they've turned out. Now I just need to put them all away. So this is how I actually package them in the storage boxes. Um, if you want to know where these storage boxes are from, they're from Zorro. You can see me getting these and setting this whole pin system up. Uh, but basically I put some cards at the front, I put the pins at the back. These have already been organised in the first and seconds because Dean did it, didn't you Dean? And uh, I put the cards ready at the front, usually level with the lip. And then any excess cards I'll put at the back here. And then the pins are in the centre and that's how... I kind of do it and that's how they all are like in 
in all the little compartments so you can just get a card and then you can pull it out get a card get a pin and it's good to go we're also doing a restock today so dean's getting trained up on how to make stickers and this is a huge wad of stickers that are sold out i just haven't had the time to restock can you even believe that huge pile we were actually at work last night until around 10 weren't we dean and at 10 p.m last night trying to restock all the stickers i've just basically been so busy it's been hard to find time to restock and with everything with like coronavirus and everything going on i limited the amount of time that i was in the studio so it was really really hard to restock but now i've got dean here he can finally keep on top of restocking all the stickers that are sold out i've actually ran out of sticker paper so i've ordered some more I just had a big huge heavy parcel delivered please excuse the crickets in the background we're really trying to catch up with this big wad of paper here and I have a feeling because the package is really really heavy that it may be notepads so I'm gonna unbox it and see what's inside fingers crossed for notepads because that is what I'm waiting for so let's open it up together oh man it's not notepads false alert oh I was really sad it's just a bunch of mounts and mount boards Is that right? What is this? Oh, why is there a random sponge in here? So my custom tape arrived from No Issue Tissue and the colours are wrong. I've literally been waiting such a long time for this. I think it's been four months in total. The tape looks really cute, but the colours are all wrong. It was meant to be navy and pink. Okay, I get why there's a sponge now. It says we sent along a complimentary sponge that you can use. Simply wet it and apply to the tape. Oh, it makes sense why they've added a sponge now. Oh, here's a really heavy box full of tissue paper. Whoa. Oh my god, the print's massive. This is the tissue paper. It is ginormous. I should have probably done the print a lot smaller now, come to think of it. I thought the tissue paper was actually half of this size, <laughs> which would have made more sense. We've got like a cute little bee here. I probably could have put a lot more detail into it. Also, I like the no issue branding i think the branding is on point with no issue that's one thing that i do like and what initially drew me to them in the first place was how nice the branding was look how much tissue paper i've got i've got a thousand sheets oh the tissue paper is really thick and very nice quality this is going to add a little bit of cute branding to my parcels. I'm currently in the second office and I really really need to sort this out it's become like a dumping ground of like stuff I brought stuff back from home and everything from when I was working from home and we also have like the tissue paper and a lot more stock like the baby blue thank you cards and it's just a complete mess I think I'm gonna have to change the shelving units and just have them as organizational shelving units uh with storage like proper storage rather than it looking pretty uh because i used to film like a video sat here and then this would kind of be in the background over here uh looking pretty and everything well kind of looking pretty still so still a bit of a mess but i think i'm gonna have to stop that and just fill the shelves up with <laughs> with storage uh, it's kind of just a bit of a mess i am gonna get to work on that and i'll show you the after
morning guys so today i'm actually going to be doing a full order packing day because you guys have been so good to us last night we kind of or the day before dean organized through all seconds that we've been kind of gathering like miss coats stickers that were slightly off center mouse mats that had print errors in and we posted a post on instagram just saying that we released them and then the store went absolutely crazy so thank you so so much and for those of you who don't follow us on instagram the link is in the description because we always do kind of sales and things like that so if you want to keep up to date on them we normally post them on instagram stories so definitely check us out if you don't want to miss anything like that out we have had a super exciting delivery and it is the pads i ordered some new stationary pads and they finally arrived so i haven't looked underneath here dean lifted the lid off and i was like don't show me don't show me i want to catch my reaction on camera so let's open these up and see how they turned out super super excited about this also it is so nice to come into this office when it's all clean and tidy and we finally got the floor space back uh, just the radiator and hoover under there it feels like back when i used to just work in here all the time i'm now using this as my main office for me when I'm answering emails and everything and it just yeah it feels really nice now that it's all been cleaned up and we've got our little photography bit here I'm gonna put you here and we're gonna open these babies up I'm so excited it's like a million layers of cardboard we'll probably reuse these three and four. Oh my gosh there's so much cardboard what the heck what on earth look at all these cardboard pieces oh my god oh it smells like fresh paper no. Oh, so these are the strawberry pads. They look so cute. Oh my god. So these are the new strawberry pads, which I think will be so cute when we're sending off letters and stuff. Let me see if I can get the colours more accurate. There you go. It's like a very light pink in the centre. And I thought these would be so cute for like personalised notes and stuff. Oh my gosh, they've turned out so cute and it's a pack of 50 and then on the back it's like a grey board. So this is a strawberry one. I feel like there's one missing because I ordered three and there's only two boxes. So I feel like we'll have to wait for our next one to arrive. There's lots of card on top again. <gasps> Oh my god! That is so cute! Oh, it turned out so good! So this is the Bumblebee one. Look at this guy! The colours have turned out so, so good. So I decided to offer a lined version. So we've got a plain strawberry one and a lined one for notes and everything. And look how cute it turned out. We've got little daisies. We've got the little fuzzy bee. Oh, this is my favourite one. We're definitely missing one. We're missing the Satsuma cat version. But I'm going to decant these and put them in this little gap up here and take some through to the order packing room. Oh my god, they're so, so cute. I can't even believe it. Look at this little fuzzy fish. I think I'm going to actually keep several of these for myself um, because I really enjoy writing on these when I write either a gift note or I write a note to like my friends or something or maybe in a certain order. I like to use these. So I'm actually going to keep several of these for myself because uh, they just look so, so freaking cute. I'm so happy with how they've turned out. They've turned out a lot better than I thought they would. A lot of people will probably ask where I got these from. I actually got these from a friend like a tip from a friend they shared their manufacturer with me which was so so kind so i kind of feel a bit strange sharing it with you guys when she shared it with me it sounded so bad when i was editing back this video but i really hope you guys understand she kind of shared this in confidentiality with me and you guys know that i like to share information like my backing cards like from instant print and stuff but in this case because she shared her manufacturer with me i felt like i wasn't in the right position to share it then with you guys and everything um i really hope you understand this and forgive me for this i'm so so sorry a ton of printer companies in the uk that you can search that sell notepads just like this just type in notepad printers uk and tons and tons come up and it'll be different depending on where you're from in the us or whatever but there is tons of option and yeah i'm super super happy with how they've turned out i just can't wait for the cat one to arrive now i'm probably going to wait till next week which will be this week by the time you're watching it to release these i've had to take my cardigan off because it's freaking boiling what is going on with the uk weather i'm not even kidding it was snowing yesterday 
And now it's boiling hot. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I'll give you a quick look around so you can see the studio and my efforts of tidying it. It feels so much cosier and a nicer space to work in now that there's not boxes everywhere and it's just a mess. I really wanted to free this desk up so I could work a bit more. So I'll show you a quick look around and then we're going to get into packing orders all day. I'm going to be doing that all day. So yeah, roll the VT. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down guys I've just got back into the studio and today I'm going to be spending the day with my patrons and doing an exclusive vlog over there so my patrons every month get an exclusive video exclusive content like wallpapers planner downloads and all good stuff like that I'll leave my link in the description if you guys want to check it out and the question of this week is if you could pick any season for it to be for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog and this little packing segment. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks so much for freaking watching. All right then, I love you. Goodbye. Got really gloopy eyes, goodbye.